Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and they they did it. They had the dev short stream today in Warframe, and they quickly talked about everything that they plan to generally do this week. So we're getting a hotfix update this week, either on Thursday or Friday. Doesn't look like it's happening on Wednesday at all, which means like probably no real news of Protea Prime this week either. So because they didn't bring any of that up. So we're getting an update either Thursday or Friday. There will hopefully be Nija fixes. There will hopefully be Dante like line of sight fixes coming. There will hopefully be Overguard fixes in general, and there will hopefully be general color palette, color palette, pinks turning into red type of fixing bugs. That is the general sense of what they talked about. So what's actually going to happen? They talked about Nija, right? If you don't know, Nija got a mod which made it so he did insane, pretty good AOE damage with his fourth ability. The ability was called Divine Retribution and it it was really good. And then they updated and uh, fixed it and nerfed it by reducing the range by 50%. So they said they're going to be lowering that, whether that means we're gonna get maybe by the end of it, like it's now 9.5 meter radius, maybe it'll go to 12.5, maybe it'll go to 15, so. Either way, it looks like they're going to reduce the radius decrease on the mod. So maybe they'll make it base ability range reduced by 25%. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe they'll make it 30, maybe they'll make it 20. I have no idea, but that's the first general fix they talked about. They just said they kind of overdid it, right? So they're probably gonna revert it back to a lower amount. So probably 25%. I have no idea though. We'll have to wait and see for the actual hotfix update to come out and then judge it from there. In regards to Dante though, they talked more about line of sight in general. Line of sight in general has just been broken and kind of bad in Warframe for a long time. So they said this is kind of them now trying to fix it up a little bit. So looks like they will be fixing more line of sight issues. They are aware of all the Dante shenanigans with him blocking out line of sight with his physical body that you see right here. So if an enemy was like right behind me and I was maybe like zoomed in a lot and they were behind me, you can't see them behind me, I wouldn't hit them. So that was like the type of line of sight bug they were talking about, so. More fixes are coming to Dante. I believe his page flight is still getting a big, big buff in regards to like 25 or like 50% increase generally. So that's fun. Yeah, his general page flight will get a, I think it's like 50% status chance. We'll see if that's what it is on launch, but I think it's about 50% status chance where, yeah, the enemies will just get apply status. So either way, he's getting buffs, they're fixing up line of sight, and hopefully more Warframes will now start working better with line of sight, like what, Ember, and whatever the hell else they have. But they were just like, yeah, we, we messed up with Dante. We released him way too strong. We should have definitely either released him with less range or with the line of sight already on, because his strategy is 30 freaking meters, so... Yeah, that's that's a little that's a little big, okay? That's a little big. 30 meters for general range is uh is not something that is small because you can get 200% range to 300% range easily and then that's like 90 meters, almost 100 meter range. So, yeah, they're not going to be reducing or reverting his line of sight probably. They said they could possibly reduce the range and add off line of sight, but they said probably not, like no promises type of deal. They're like, yeah, that's probably not gonna happen. So don't expect that. They've already said like multiple times that it doesn't look like they wanna do that, but if line of sight can't get fixed properly, they might do that. So it's kind of a mess. Yeah, it's kind of a mess. Either way, let's go on to the next thing. With Overguard, in regards to Chroma Vex armor, right? In regard to Inaros, in regard to Nidus, they were saying they're going to fix up the general overguard interactions when it comes to buffing it up. So I think with Vex armor, they said either melee kills will buff up uh, armor, range kills will buff up damage or vice versa. Something along the lines of that. And then Nidus Prime and Inaros, right? They will buff up on 
overguard. So either like their buffs will ignore ignore the overguard shenanigans, or the overguard will act as health so that they can get buffs from getting hit with overguard, right? Because yeah, you don't want to nerf someone's like kit based on them getting buffs from a teammate. So outside sources of overguard, their abilities should work through them properly. They want to, they're going to fix like the rage, right? Mod and stuff like that. So they're fixing interactions when it comes to all of that. So yeah, they're just trying to fix it. So it just works with overguard and works around overguard. So that's good. We'll have to wait obviously for the full extent, see how it reads, see if it all works properly, but they're slowly fixing things, which is good. They tend to break things a lot and they, they tend to be pretty YOLO as a release studio. Remember, Warframe, 11 years strong beta. So remember that this is, this is a weird shenanigans and we will never escape it. Either way, those look to be the general gameplay fixes that are coming to the game in regards to everything broken and fixed and yeah, 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 yeah. Last thing very minor they are going to fix up the lighting so I, a lot of people are saying the reds look pink and the, i guess that's a huge console bug mainly people are saying on playstation some of the color palettes or some of the reds look aggressively pink i don't know if this is a huge issue on pc as well this is my general setup with my dante it's a pretty red looking frame right but if i go into here if i go appearance like you can see the reds here are a lot more aggressive, I guess, than here. Like this is a bright red and this is a darker red. And it doesn't quite show like that. So I don't know. I don't know how messed up the possible lighting is, but the lighting on people are saying consoles like PlayStation red to pink is a lot worse right now. Auto melee is the literal worst to me. I've been noticing more auto melee bugs where I've been holding down auto melee and then I just stopped attacking. I can't tell though if that's the game's fault or if it's like my keyboard's being a little funky because uh, it can, you know, bork out a little bit, but I feel like it's in the game. So either way, they're slowly fixing things up. There's still a ton of bugs, I'm pretty sure. So hopefully they get things fixed faster. Yeah, but that's the, some of the big stuff they talked about. If there's anything else they mentioned here and there, feel free to let me know or bring it up in the comments. But that was all of the important stuff. But they, you know, they talk about a lot of general stuff. So yeah, let me know what you think. Things are still pretty broken here and there. And hopefully bug fixes happen sooner rather than later. But yeah, iOS will be the buggiest platform for a while because it is the newest and everything is just buggy. So that sucks. Hopefully they'll fix it. Use Epic Games creator code Pupsker on the Epic Games Store if you want to support the channel. You know, you can subscribe, like, or check out any of the social medias. So, yeah. Cheers.